We're not going to do a lot of complicated math in this class, but one thing you're going to encounter a lot in the first few weeks of class is exponents. So in case your memory of how to work with exponents is a little rusty, let me give you a quick refresher of the basic rules that you're going to need to know. The first is the product rule. So if you have a variable x that's taken to the nth power and you multiply it by an x to the mth power. Now they have to be the same variable. It can't be an x and a y. It has to be two x's. But if they're the same variable taken to different powers and multiplied together, then you're going to add those exponents. So if you have x to the third times x squared, that's going to be x to the fifth. Or if you have x to the one-half times x to the one-half, well, that's going to be x to the one, but if the exponent is one, we don't show it. Now, it's important to keep in mind, these have to be the same variables. So if you had something like um, x squared times y to the third, there's nothing you can do. It's just x squared times y to the third. But if they're the same variables, then you can apply the product rule. The quotient rule is about division. So if you take x to the m and divide it by x to the n, then you need to subtract the exponents. So that's going to be equal to x to the m minus n. So if you have x to the third divided by x squared, then that's going to be 3 minus 2, so x to the first, which again we don't show. Or if you have um, x to the second divided by x to the third, 2 minus 3 will give us x to the minus 1. Third, we have the power rule, which says if you have x to the m and you take the whole thing to another power, now you're going to multiply these exponents. So now you're going to get x to the m times n. So if we have x to the third squared, then that would become 2 times 3, x to the sixth. Or if we have x to the 1 half taken to the 1 half, and we multiply 1 half times 1 half, which is 1 fourth. Then we need to remember what a negative exponent means. So if you have x to the minus n, then that's the same as 1 over x to the n with no negative sign. So when we had an x to the minus 1 here, that's the same as 1 over x. Finally, you need to remember what a zero exponent means. Anything taken to the power 0 is just going to be equal to 1. Those are the basic rules. If you know those, you'll be fine in terms of the exponents that we use.